More than a thousand kilometres from any ocean, some desert dwellers are turning to desperate measures to get their fishing fix. Fish farmers in central Australia are now using a technique similar to one used for growing drugs. And environmentalists say it's getting more people hooked on desert-raised fish. In Alice Springs, they've decided if you can't take the man to the fish, bring the fish to the man. Craig Cross is among an increasing number of town residents using aquaponics to grow fish in the desert. There you go. Thought I'd get one. His silver perch are only small now, but he plans to have them on a plate by Christmas. In part, they'll be Christmas dinner. But, yeah, there's 50 of them at the moment, so we'll progressively eat those. Homegrown fish can be rather hard to catch, even if they are stuck in the equivalent of a barrel. Well, they're about that big each. It's a couple of inches slightly bigger. The town's environment group says so many people are getting hooked on the idea of growing their own fish, they've had to start a waiting list for the workshops. And it's a very appealing idea uh, to be able to have fish in the desert, so I think we'll see a lot more of it in the future. But after all that time, will it be tough to kill the fish? It won't be real hard at all for me. I don't know about the girls, though. They might be a little bit uh, more upset. The yabbies, though, might be spared the plate. They've got names, and there are other fish to fry. Katrina Bolton, ABC News, Alice Springs.